Hello, welcome back to Bucks County Beer Reviews. Tonight we're going to do a beer oops, that was given to me by my buddy Marcel. He took a trip out to the Pittsburgh area and he picked this one up. It's from Meadville, Pennsylvania, which is more northwest Pennsylvania, kind of up towards Erie. And it's called Beach Gear. It's a blonde ale with apricots, 5.6% ABV. Uh, Voodoo Brewing Company, like I said, in Meadville, Pennsylvania. This one on Untap gets a 3.63 with 3,365 ratings. Beach Gear is our American blonde ale brewed with apricots. Lightly hopped with mosaic, we designed this beer to be refreshingly crisp, light, and fruity without being overly sweet. We think it is the perfect addition to a day at the beach or the water, or wherever warm weather may find you. That's nice. Uh, we don't quite have warm weather here yet. It's kind of in between. A little bit rainy, cloudy. We have, we've had some warm days and some cold days. It hasn't really settled yet. But I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I like the can art on it. Let me spin it around for you here. go. I don't know why they put a skull on the beach, but uh, whatever. <laughs> Skulls seem to be popular on beer cans, on a lot of them. It smells like apricots. Here we go. I brought my Warwick Farms glass. By the way, thank you, Marcel. Very much appreciate the brew. Look at that. We got a little uh, carbonation tornado going on in there. That's pretty cool. Apricots, not getting anything else. Is it apricots or apricots? I'm not an apricot expert. The head has a nice apricot flavor. Apricot. Very good looking brew. Partially cloudy. All right, let's dive in. Cheers. Ah. <clears throat> if you like apricots, you'll love this one. It's very apricot forward. And as I said in the description, it is very crisp, refreshing, a little bit light, uh, light mouthfeel. Maybe light, halfway between light and medium. It does have a little sweetness to it. It's not overly sweet. It's actually very nice. And then I'm picking up a little bitterness on the back end. And you know I love that. Very, very nice. I like it. <clears throat> it's actually quite delicious. Uh, these fruit flavored beers are not the, my favorites, you know. I don't, use, I don't gravitate to them naturally. I have to be dragged kicking and screaming sometimes. But I like this one. I would even consider buying that again if it was sold around here. Uh, I think it deserves better than a 3.63, that's for sure. <clears throat> I'll go all the way up to four and a half on it. I really like it. Very tasty. That little bit of bitterness on the back end seals the deal. I picked out some beer cans here. I'm going to look at four Canadian beer cans and we're going to start with this Molson light can which has got an oddball top and it's open from the bottom but the thing I like about this can is whoever had this beer on June 25th 1982 put a note on the bottom of the can 
He was drunk on a fishing trip to Nascoot Lake. And they put the date. I just think that's awesome. I like that can too. And we have an O'Keefe Ale. No such note on any of these other ones. O'Keefe Ale. Uh, Carling O'Keefe Limited, Toronto, Waterloo, Canada. Just a nice looking can. And we have a Labatt India Pale Ale. Uh, imported product of Canada. Imported from Canada by Labatt <coughs> Importers in Buffalo. Brewed by Labatt's. Open from the bottom. Nice can. I like it. One more, Molson Canadian. A lot of people know Molson Canadian. Uh, Molson Breweries of Canada Limited in Montreal, Toronto, Winnipeg, Regina, Edmonton, and Vancouver. A lot of places. This one's open from the top. Nice steel can. All right, that's going to do it. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And thank you again, Marcel, for this awesome apricot beer. Delicious. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.